Welcome to the Good Vibes Summer Audio Fiction Podcast. We're sure you're going to love A Serious Scurry of Fluffles by Tom Mizoraka. Produced by Broken Arts Entertainment. We hope you're having a great summer. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Close. It could have rabies. And it's fluffy, wuffy Widowdale. Oh, if he flicks it, it means it's going to attack. He may be here with his family. Let's follow him. I'd love to see a baby squirrel. Well, maybe he's part of a vicious pack. What is that called? Here, squirrel. Here, boy. Who's oh, a pretty squirrel? You are. Yes, you are. Listen to me talking to a squirrel this way. It could be a lady squirrel. Here, Miss Squirrel. Here, girl. Scurry. Don't tell her to leave. Uh, no, the collective noun for squirrels is a scurry. A scurry of squirrels. Aw, oh, a scurry of squirrels sounds so sweet. <laughs> Will you take me back to your scurry? Oh, I found a list of collective nouns. The text is taking forever to load. Uh, let's see. Hmm. There's a shrewdness of apes. A wisdom of wombats, a parliament of owls. Oh my god! Did you ever see those pictures of owls' legs? They're so long and funny looking. Oh, I just want to tickle them. Its claws will rip open your jugular. There's a zeal of zebras, a shiver of sharks, a serious of snakes. Oh, we should watch out for rattlesnakes. Not until the height of summer. Have you ever seen a baby snake? <gasps> They're so small and swirly. Baby rattlesnakes are even more poisonous than adults. Uh, there's a muster of storks, a scold of jays, a murder of crows. <sighs> I bet many people have been murdered and buried deep in these woods, never to be seen again. How can you think of murder on a beautiful day like this? Woods are always the creepy places in fairy tales. They're filled with evil witches and horrible monsters. But it's also where all the magical woodland creatures live. Now where did Miss Squirrel go? Probably calling in reinforcements. Her scurry will scurry all over us. Let's head back before it does. Just a little further ahead. Then the path loops around. Oh! This path isn't as clear as the other one. We could stumble into poison ivy. Just remember the campfire song, Leaves of Three, Let It Be. I've never been camping. <laughs> it's so much fun. Spending the night in the woods is not my idea of fun. I prefer a hotel. You could compromise and stay at a cabin or a lodge on your next vacation. If there's no maid service, it's not a vacation. I take it you travel a lot? No. Really? You sound like you enjoy exploring new things. I do. I just can't. Too many responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Work? Yeah. How about you? You're so knowledgeable. You must have traveled the world. <laughs> I've barely left the state. Everything I've learned, I've learned from books. Books are great escapism. Ah, I'm out of bug spray. You started with a full can. I used it all. We've only been hiking for... 40 minutes. I don't want to be attacked by a scourge of mosquitoes. <laughs> That's fitting. They only come out at night. Not the 80s mosquitoes. They're out in the daytime, often attack the ankles. You said you wore two pairs of socks. I should have worn three. <laughs> You'll be fine. We're heading back now. You said we'd be out here for a couple of hours. You don't seem to be enjoying yourself. I'm enjoying the company and the conversation, though I know it won't last very long. Why would you say that? Uh, because none of my dates do. 
Well, I'm enjoying being away from the city and out here in nature with somebody interesting. Me? Yes. You know about so many things. Except nature. But you're trying to learn. It's difficult when I only have one bar. There's no cell towers. What if something happens to us? Nothing's going to happen to us. We could run into uh, an ambush of tigers. <laughs> There's only cute little woodland creatures out here. <gasps> I hope we see a rabbit. A weedle bushy tail of a bunny wuddy. Mm, a fluffle of rabbits. <gasps> a group of bunnies is called a fluffle? That's the most adorable thing I've ever heard. A fluffy wuzzy fluffer of fuzzy bunnies. <laughs> they probably have rabies too. Though we are more likely to run into a a, a a group of ticks. Or more beautiful insects, like butterflies. Isn't it amazing how squirmy little caterpillars can transform into these colorfully winged creatures? A kaleidoscope. And there's hummingbirds. Mm. There's a small and cute and flutter around in the air. A charm. Mm. Don't forget the whales. A gam. There aren't whales in the woods. <laughs> Just testing you. Perhaps you could stop looking at your phone and start looking at the world around you. There's so many beautiful things to discover. I'd rather just read about them in books. I'd rather experience them. You can't experience everything. I can try. Experience what you can. Read about the rest. Is that what you do? No. But in books, you don't have to worry about a series of snakes or a scourge of mosquitoes and gams of whales. <laughs> books are safer. That's the beauty of nature. It's unpredictable. You never know what you're going to see next. With a good book, you also don't know the same. I hope you'll share your most unpredictable books with me. Even though I don't read much. What? When I'm home, I can't... Don't have time. Why not read out here? There are too many beautiful things to see. I don't want my nose buried in a book. Then go to the library. That, that's where I escape. Maybe you could take me sometime. Really? Granted, we wouldn't be able to talk much. But I haven't been to the library since I was a kid. Wow. <laughs> they say talking about a second date on the first date is a good sign. Who says that? Articles I've read on the internet. But they also say talking about how the date is going is a bad sign. Because you feel the need to validate it. I'd rather we let things go wherever they go. Oh, I can't do that. I need everything planned out. <laughs> Maybe from all my years of working as a tax accountant. Uh, did you ever tell me what you did for a living? I'm a... Home health aid. Oh, with the sick and elderly? That must be so sad. It can be. But I, I bet you enjoy telling people they're getting a big tax refund. Mostly I'm crushing their dreams of a vacation or a new car when I tell them they owe more money than they thought. They get so upset, and so do I. Why not focus on the joy you bring when people get refunds? That's nice, but... The upset people stick with me more. I get that. The negative things in life always seem to have the ability to overshadow everything else. Mm -hmm. Especially in, in this craziness of the city. But out here... I'm happy. I'm happy you're happy. You're just saying that. No, I mean it. I, I'm delighted to watch or read about people enjoying their lives. That's almost sad. Not for me. Randy, listen. I have to confess something. You're married. No. You're not interested in me? I'm, I'm not quite sure about that yet. But more importantly, we're lost. What? I don't know where we are. Well, uh, my phone has a compass. It won't be very useful, since I don't know what direction the exit is. How could you not know that? I always follow the same path to and from. 
I'm sure if we retrace our steps... Oh, my, my GPS isn't loading. I doubt it will. I, I, I can't even make an emergency call. There's no need for that. But it'll be dark soon. In like five hours. We're, we're going to die from, from exposure. It's not even cold. We're going to run out of water. We both have full bottles. We'll need more than that if we're going to be stuck here for days. We won't be stuck here for days. <laughs> right. We'll be eaten by a bear first. <laughs> there are no bears in these woods. Well, we're going to be eaten by something. When we're weak enough, we'll look very tasty to Miss Squirrel. I don't want to be eaten by a squirrel. Randy. My poor sister will have to identify my half-eaten remains. Randy. I knew I should have bought a flare gun. Please, calm down. We'll be fine. Just go with the flow. Dying in the woods is not the flow I want to go with. Uh, You're a smart guy. If we stop and think rationally, we'll figure out how to get back. If you knew these woods so well, how did you get us lost? I was distracted. By Miss Squirrel? I knew that rodent was up to no good. By you, actually. (laughs) Me? I always hike alone. You don't bring your other dates here? I don't have many other dates. Really? I wish I could go on more dates or vacations or just out with friends. But most of the time, I have to take care of my mother. I'm sorry, I I didn't know. I didn't want you to, yet. You can tell me anything. I know that now. My mother has Alzheimer's. She's been struggling with it for years. It got so bad, I had to move back in with her. My brother lives out of state, but comes home as much as he can. We can't afford to put her in a facility. Not that I want to, but sometimes I feel so tied down. It's a big sacrifice taking care of another person. She sacrificed so much for us growing up. I'm honored to take care of her, but it's exhausting. I can imagine. Thank goodness for the few social services she's eligible for. They allow me to come here and lose myself. And me too. (laughs) Sorry about that. It's okay. I have faith you'll find our way back. Glad somebody has faith in me. I'm beginning to lose it in myself. You'll find the strength within you when you need it. Someday she's so lost. She doesn't even know who I am. I can't bear to see her that way. It's so tragic. It is. Why are you crying? Did one of your parents? No, but I feel for you. I can deal with the stress. Because I know when the stress is gone, it means she's... She's... She can be cute sometimes, when she spontaneously breaks into song. (laughs) Yesterday she started singing, on the sunny side of the street. (laughs) She hums if she forgets the words. That sounds adorable. Now I get why you're so carefree out here. At home you're as busy as... uh, As busy as a family of beavers. (laughs) Or a swarm of bees. Uh, A bike of bees, actually. Oh? Or a cast, or a clutter, or a colony. Did you ever do something spontaneous, Randy? Eat ice cream for dinner? Dance in your living room? Take a different route to work? Why would I do any of that? To shake things up. Have more stories to tell. There's plenty of stories in books. And I'm sure they're wonderful. Don't you ever want to move outside your comfort zone? No, uh, 
Well, maybe. If I had somebody to push me out of it. I could give you a little nudge every now and then. On our second date? About that. You're a nice guy and all, but I don't think we'd make a good couple. I want somebody who want to get lost in the woods with me. You got us lost on purpose? <laughs> no, silly. And face it, your ideal woman would want to get lost in a book with you. Yeah, she would. But I could always use a new friend. One of those dating articles said that mine means we'll never see each other again. Oh. But, but let's break those rules and be friends! <laughs> Just like those valentines we got in school. Let's be friends. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> like a fuzzy buzzy bike of bees. <laughs> or a drift, or a grist, or a rabble. <gasps> Bunny! That's a fuffle, remember? There! It's a cutie woody we don't have it! It's come to eat us. He's so cute. I want to pet him or her. Oh, it's covered with fleas. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. Oh, don't wander off. I want to see her eat some lettuce. They're even cuter when they're chewy. You won't think that when it's chewing on our flesh. Wait a minute. This is the main path. 20 minutes that way and we'll be at the exit. Are you sure? Trust me. I do. Now, scurry! (laughs) (laughs) You've just listened to A Serious Scurry of Fluffle by Tom Mizoraka, starring Laura Hogan and Ian Ashley. Directed by Nathan Roach. This show is presented to you by Broken Arts Entertainment. And we are hoping that you are having a wonderful summer and that you will listen to all of the shows on this audio podcast. Thank you so much. Be awesome.